Avatars of Time, Avatar 5. This avatar deals with simultaneity. This entails the simultaneous unfolding of events on one or more timelines. As we have seen earlier, the order of signification in a string of events is sort of not completely set in stone, because a future event could hold information about a past event, changing its meaning, its history itself, and therefore changing the current state of affairs. A second switch of order is the future event that still has to be taking place. In the event of some daunting perspective of the future event, we could actually choose not to pursue this particular timeline. In that case, the future event would be skipped, it would be not taking place, and therefore we would switch actually from the current timeline to an alternative timeline. This is what we called non-local causality. The future event is actually now changing the course of the current state of affairs. But this non-local causality can be switched into a local causality. The local causality is when we just change this timeline without, let's say, having the effect of the future event influencing us to make this decision. Of course, there are more variations, and in this case you could say that the future event would not even take place on the original timeline, because it would never occur. But it becomes more interesting when we look at the local non-causality, because switching from one timeline to the other does not mean that the other timeline does not exist in the first place. Considering that every entity has its own timeline, then you could say that these Y's and Z's always occur at the same time. But how to synchronize them? Because it could well be that within the same amount of time, what is for me a current event is already for you a past event. Or what is for me a future event is for you the current state of affairs. So what would be then the definition of simultaneity? It is not the simultaneously unfolding of timelines. This is what we have seen now. But there must be some way of looking at how these timelines form some sort of complexity. These complexities can be linked. These complexities can contain causalities, but they can also have a certain attachment in a local situation without having any cause of effect within this locality. If we look at this footage of cars in a scrapyard, we can see that there is a locality and there is a simultaneously unfolding of decay of these vehicles. They are slowly falling apart, taken apart by human intervention. But the one decay does not influence any of the others. This is a local non-causality, a simultaneously unfolding of events without any cause in and on each other. We exemplify this with some moving image called complexity at station. We see here a very primitive dual split screen recording. So what we see is actually a locality with non-causal relations. The one image does not have any effect on the other. Yet they unfold parallel. We can increase this. This complexity can be increased by adding a third perspective, 5.2. Now we see three scenes of the same station unfolding at the same time in roughly the same location but without any causal effect. We cannot see anything which is of any influence on all the others. We can even increase the complexity of this concept by adding a third angle, that of the disintegration of the locality. We can see three scenes from the same moment starting at the same place, 
and slowly moving apart from each other. All this is simultaneity in its different shapes and forms. Hopefully this was useful. Thank you for watching.